viewers and subscribers and welcome back again this is toby vi channel one where we tell you undiluted truth to my people indeed i bring you the good news the 10th anniversary of adf is around the corner <laughs> Yeah. Are you a true son or daughter of Alibo? Do you care for the development and progress of Unjibo? This information is for you. Alibo Development Foundation ADF invites you to her 10th anniversary celebration happening in Umwa here at the Agosto State on Saturday, 13th July 2024 by 9 a.m. Featuring talent show, cultural exhibition, ADF book presentation, exhibition and sales of artwork, ATC. Host, Emeritus, Professor, T.O. Sademawala, ADF President, Founder, Father, and Pioneer Chairman, Chairman of the Occasion, His Excellency, Major General Chris Eze, retired from a High Commission of Nigeria to India, Special Guest of Honor, His Excellency, Dr. Alex Joma Oti, Executive Governor of Abia State, and Mr. Pitu, the Okuten Debo, the Labour Party Presidential Candidate, Guest Speaker, Masichi Nonsoba Nonsoba, Ochiai and Debo Nile, for inquiries called OSITA, Admin Officer on 0803-466-3922 or Prince Solomon, LOC Chairman, 0803-391-9686. Ali with Development Foundation, Michael Denman Debo. It will be happening 13th of this month, July, and I will be there live to witness the handover of Emeritus Professor, the President of ADF. Professor Ozode Mawala to the next dispensation of leadership of the ADF and also the struggle for the liberation of Ndibo as it continues. Who will be there with me? I tell you, those who have the heart and the will for the betterment and progress of Alibo will be there. I'll be there. I want you to be there also. If you can't, join us on BVI Channel 1 as we'll be streaming and bringing you whatever that's happening there live. And I want you also to be part of this revolution, which this man, Professor Ozodemowal, have driven over the years for the progress and sustainability of our neighbor, especially when it comes to agricultural food revolution. Farm is the basis of civilization, is the basis of food, is the basis of security. And then I like you by me, I'm happier. I see. Oh, in a rush of any of Ugre Megan, a rush of 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 a I import tomato from anywhere. I need to import onion from anywhere. I need to import cassava from anywhere. I need to import yam from anywhere. We can produce all we need and export to the world. So we can the dream of Ali with the Foundation. That's where we want to start. We moved away from all the theoretical things. So we have a problem problem with that my level on an eye of public channel. But now is the time to march forward practically. Beginning with the most pressing problem of our people, which is food security. Food security. It's a shame that our food is in Ugunabia. A shame that tomato is in Ugunabia. A shame that yam is in Ugunabia. It is a shame. That will not happen. We believe in the next one year. 
the ADF will move the Igbo nation. We'll cut food importation by 50%. Within two years, there will be no bad importing food in Ali. That is our dream. We just want to start with this miniature base here. With this miniature base here. Before long, it will envelop Ali Igbo nation. All right. China, that is our dream. Okay. Conscientizing the people and mobilizing on Debo on this course. And GGM is tapping into that very unction from Professor Oza de Manuel. And that is why we must be there. And that is why we all have to get involved. Because this conspiracy and analysis and analogy that anybody many anybody many that we have to import our food from outside will be brought to an end because the reverse is the case. Anibu had the best agricultural perspective than any part of Nigeria and even beyond. And that is one of the things we are going to be dissecting in that um, universe of the earth. Please don't miss a thing from that program because BVI Channel 1 will bring it all to you. Join me there because I'll be there live. And you also try to be there. I'm Asu Chenot Peters, the Archbishop, GGM, Good Governance Ministry. Bye-bye for now.